This video is about the second Jacobite rising in Scotland. In 1745, Chancellor Stuart, called Bonnie Prince Charlie or the Young Pretender, wanted to regain the British crown for his family. He failed his attempt, eventually failed, because the, uh, the Jacobites lost the Battle of Culloden. King of Britain was George II, and his son, Prince William, Duke of Cumberland, is to mention, because he was an important military commander. Thousand Stuart lost the throne of England, Scotland and Wales during the Glorious Revolution. 1707, England and Scotland were united, and now they formed the Kingdom of Great Britain. There was a Jacobite uprising before in Scotland, 1715 and 16 it failed. However, the Stuarts never gave up their claim on the British throne, and they lived in, French, um, lived in France in exile. Now, France and Britain, more or less as usual, were at war. This time it was the War of the Austrian Succession. So the French were very happy to support the Stuarts. They even tried to stage um, an invasion, which failed because of the storm. Now to the events. As mentioned, the Stuarts were in France, not only Bonnie Prince Charlie, also his father James, called the Old Pretender. Now, um, <clears throat> Charles could get, win enough support to set sail for Scotland, where he arrived on the 23rd of July. Uh, 1745. He made his way to mainland Scotland, met the first clan chiefs, and they were very reluctant because they thought this enterprise must fail, it doesn't look too good. But Charles, charismatic, could convince them, and he had even more success on the next meeting, more clan chiefs, and the atmosphere was rather enthusiastic. Now, on this, during this meeting, it was also made clear his father should be king and Charles himself should be Prince Regent. Now hostilities began with a Scottish ambush. The Scots could take a British company prisoner near Highbridge. Charles entered Edinburgh and as planned he was declared Prince Regent, his father King. The Scots won a battle and now it's clear in um, London that is serious stuff. So the Duke of Cumberland with large forces came back to England. But firstly, it was for the Scots to go on the offensive. They invaded England, took Carlisle, Preston and Manchester and went as far south as Derby. Here they discussed what to do. And yeah, they faced a very strong army in England. And so they decided, against their child's will, to return to Scotland to take defensive positions. Now, the British side advanced, retook Carlisle and went into Scotland. Now, the Jacobites could win two uh, battles, but it did not help them. The British were quite resilient. They could hold out at Fort William and then won the Battle of Little Ferry. And now we have the decisive battle, which is the Battle of Culloden. The war was all uh, but over. Now, it should be mentioned at the end that what followed was the legendary flight of Bonnie Prince Charlie. You find this in quite a few Scottish songs. He could have made, during the next month, he could have made through Scotland, made his way through Scotland and then to France. This was a decisive victory. It was the last uprising in Scotland and the British government made, made sure that there won't be another uprising. The clan chiefs lost their right to hold court and Scotland was now placed, all of Scotland was placed under British or English law. Furthermore, the clan chiefs, of course, were not allowed anymore to call the Scots to arms and weapons of war were not allowed in Scotland. On a cultural level, for quite some time, uh, killed in Tartan were prohibited. And this was, this uprising, as an important step that now, or the British reaction, in fact, was an important step that now England, Scotland, Wales were firmly united. And not too long, then we have the Kingdom of Un uh, the, we have the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Ireland joined uh, these three nations. That was the Jacobite uprising of 1745 in five.